Okay, so I had, um, I give my word to come on today. And so even though I am in the middle of a battle for my health, um, this morning when I got up, I, um, was battling several things. <laughs> I had several things going on. And so I, I felt unable to get on and encourage you guys, but I have battled all day long and I'm in a much better place now. So <clears throat> I want to get on and encourage you guys and just share kind of a prophetic warning. Um, I don't know how many of you all have been uh, dealing with some demonic attacks, some attacks on your body, attacks on your finances, your relationships, but there's a lot of spiritual warfare going on, if y'all haven't noticed, in the earth right now. And, you know, as believers, as sons and daughters of God, we have a target on our back. Hey, Jeanette, Penelope, you guys share this tag some people. You know, my account has been penalized. Uh, apparently, I shared uh, something that they did not believe was factually correct one one time and so they put my they they quit distributing my stuff to as many people so if you are watching this and you like my stuff comment even if it's just a heart whenever you comment it actually shows myself uh, my stuff to more people so when you see when you actually do get to see things comment on it like it share it tag some people um, also something you can do if you don't, if you haven't been seeing my stuff, or even if you have, make sure that you have, you click the three little buttons on top of Facebook where you see my stuff first. And that gets you to, to see my things, even though they've cut me down by like 70% is what it looks like, but I'm not stressing it. Really. I'm not. Um, it is, it, it kind of goes along with what I'm saying here though, that, you know, don't think if the enemy is attacking you, if the enemy is trying to um, round up reinforcements against you and attack you, it doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong necessarily. You know, I mean, you can open a doors for attack, but the enemy knows where God has taken you. He sees where he is taking you. He sees what he's doing in your life, what he wants to do through your life, oftentimes before you even see it. So... And while some people are hopping on, I'm just going to pray real quick, Lord, to direct this. God, I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the right people will hear this, that they will be encouraged. Lord God, I pray that you would just unify the saints as um, your sons and daughters, that we would be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And I'm just going to pray, and I've been praying for you guys today because I have been um, pretty much on my back. So, ever since I got off that fast, I have definitely um, had a couple of attacks going on. <clears throat> but the Lord is working through all of these things. So, I just want you to, to, to understand and to know, if, if you are being attacked by Satan, God is allowing it to happen. And so, you got to fight back. you got to ask for reinforcements, message your friends, send in prayer requests, you know, Pray in the spirit, worship, you know, read the word of God, just get in there and dig in and do not let fear overwhelm you or overcome you. So I started to get a urinary tract infection and um, I had a call in doctor's appointment where they gave me five, you know, and I, I haven't taken antibiotics in years and I, I used to, you know, haven't really been needing any kind of medicine, but I remember in my 20s and stuff, I studied, you know, herbs and a holistic approach to, you know, health and things like that and would take supplements and I've, I've, you know, been into taking supplements and stuff, not hugely, but I haven't really had poor health or anything, but I haven't taken antibiotics in a long, long while, but I got this UTI and, you know, I'm just distract, not necessarily distracted, really busy with some stuff. So I'm like, call in some antibiotics. I didn't even think about trying to do it naturally. Um... So I did five days of antibiotics and it didn't really cut, it didn't cut out the symptoms. So on Monday, I did another phone in doctor's appointment, which I think, I don't know how good of an idea this is. So they call in 250 milligrams. I wrote the name of this down. You guys watch out for this medicine. Unbelievable. Watch out for whatever medicine. I'm just going to warn you while I'm out here, you know, um, to 
No telling what Facebook will do with me talking about this, but I think that it's important that we get the truth out about things. You know, pharmaceuticals are sometimes necessary, but you need to do your research because drugs in general, whether they're created in a lab or bought on the street, can be open doors for demons. So sometimes you have to weigh the pros and cons. You have to be led by the spirit. Sometimes you have to take medicine. But research the stuff. Read the packet. I didn't even think to read the packet of this thing. So on Monday, we were going to visit my aunt. They called in 250 milligrams of ciproflaxacin, <clears throat> which is an antibiotic. I've never heard of antibiotics having harmful side effects other than like diarrhea or some minor thing. Never even crossed my mind, you know, some horrible thing could happen. And it was for 250 milligrams. Well, I had it called into a pharmacy that was closed. So I pressed and pressed. I called instead of just going to my aunt's, who is actually very holistic. She has a medicine cabinet full of, you know, all kinds of herbs and, you know, home remedies and all this stuff. And God had, I feel like I called it into the wrong thing and God was trying to protect me. And I had, but I, I just kept, had such frequency. And if you've ever had a UTI, ladies, <laughs> maybe men get them too. You, you know, it's pretty intense. And I'm like, I need some medicine. I need to get this going. So I called another doctor appointment online. I had to pay for this one because it was two within 24 hours. And she called me in double the dose of the same antibiotic. So I went and picked it up and took it immediately. It said, don't eat with yogurt. I, I took it immediately and I didn't realize it, but immediately, immediately that my calf muscles started to be really sore. I just didn't put two and two together because I, I, I thought, I don't know if you guys saw my video on Tuesday where I was talking about having knots all over my legs. And I just thought, you know, I came off this long fast. You know, I might have depleted my body of something. I've been walking a lot. And they just got sore and sore like I could hardly walk. And I was like, man, I've been, you know, I don't know how just walking has done this to me. It didn't, and I didn't put two and two together. Took medicine again that night. And that night I laid in bed and rubbed and rubbed. Thinking, because there was knots. Especially in my right leg. I mean, like major knots. I've never had anything like this in my calf. And it was hurting so bad. And so I was rubbing them massaging them really hard before I went to bed. So Tuesday, I come in the office. I got this. I'm here at the Ecclesia. You can see these roller things. I don't know any of you athletic people, you know, when you get muscles in knots, when you've been, you know, lifting weights and stuff, you roll out. Well, I'm like, this is so sore. It hurts so bad. So Tuesday, I was in here rolling and rolling these massive knots in my legs. And it just felt worse and worse and worse. Well, I got in my car to go home yesterday, and that, you know, the thing that they staple to your medicine was sitting in my drop in my car, and I just picked it up. The Lord just, the Spirit of God led me to pick it up and open it, and there was like a thick insert. This is a black box medicine, which they didn't tell me that at the pharmacy. The doctor didn't mention this is a really dangerous medicine. You know, these are the possible side effects. If I had any inclination, please, you guys, read the inserts. If I had any inclination that this, if I had read it, if I had opened it and read what could have possibly been wrong, I would have stopped because when I had just taken one pill, this hit me and I would have stopped taking the medicine, but I took three pills before, praise the Lord God, he showed me what was going on because I wouldn't have put it together otherwise. And it's like page after page, you can have ruptured tendons in your legs, ruptured arteries, death, it could be permanent, you know, and then so I'm like, what in the world? So the worst thing that I could have done was roll out and I had been rolling out and massaging it because it's like it causes like this tendonitis and it can rupture your tendons and so you're supposed to ice and rest, not stretch and roll out like I thought I had sore muscles and I had so I'm kind of in a panic because I'm reading this stuff and I look online and there's like one after the other, all these lawsuits, these are horrible medicines. And so I look on the insert and, you know, I just, I'm just waking up more and more and more and more and more deeper discernment, greater power. The Lord is just doing mighty things in my life and in the earth through some of these things that I'm going for through 
rather. So ciprofloxacin, if you look in, in the packet how it's pronounced, it's a sin, A-S-I-N, floxacin, and it's um, uh, ciprofloxacin, and it, and it has the word ro in it, and it has the word a sin, and it just hit me, okay, Monday night, the night that I had taken this medicine, you know, I had taken medicine Monday morning, Monday night, I had a dream, and in the dream, the whole reason why my uh, Facebook account, and I'm, I'm going to use code words here, I mean, it sounds paranoid, but it's not, <laughs> I posted one thing, the whole reason why my account was hit is because they went to it and saw that I was awake about some things that are going on in there and it, and it was the enemy I've no doubt it was the enemy trying to to shut me up and I have been doing I did 40 days of spiritual warfare where I was praying against principalities that are coming in through these things that are going on in the world the sicknesses that that you know is in the news all the time right now and stuff and so these principalities were alerted to me knowing because I know angels were, were warring during that 40 day fast. And so when you begin to do spiritual warfare on that level, <laughs> and I mean, I don't care what level you're on. If you're doing spiritual warfare for other people and yourself and your family, you're going to get hit. There's going to be a counterattack. And so this is what I've been experiencing. But here's the cool thing. I'm at peace and I'm, 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 I'm completely trusting God. And this is where we have to be when we get these counterattacks. So, I, I I only read a few articles and I'm like, this is not what I need to be doing for my faith. Because lawsuit after lawsuit, they've tried to take this these antibiotics off the market because people die like up to a year later after just taking a couple of pills. It is destroying people's muscles. Long-term nerve damage. You know, people who have to crawl to get from one room to the other for the rest of their life. Side effects of this medicine. I'm like, what? Heck, odd. So, of course, I'm like, you know what? What this has done for me, I was skeptical. I was skeptical. You know, I'm I'm somebody who has been woken up to certain things with V A C C. <laughs> I don't want to even say the word. You know, the things with the needles that they give you to supposedly keep you from getting sick. I the Lord woke me up about some of that to start researching into that since I had my first child and so I've been very cautious with that with my second child and I brought that up before but the pharmaceutical companies <sighs> some high level demons some high level greed and people are honestly to goodness they are selling people drugs that they know are killing people and damaging them them hugely and it's a urinary tract infection they have plenty of safe antibiotics they could have given me, but I'm just sharing my testimony, not just to share it because it, you can apply this to your life. Because now what I've done, I went and spent $80 yesterday at the health food store. I did my research and I'm taking natural remedies and I'm ta and there's, you know, I cut coffee out. I'm like, I'm going to do whatever I need to do, you know, to feed my body the right things. I'm taking the, the natural remedies. I'm, yeah, the Greek meaning of pharma is witchcraft. I know this 100% and I've known it before, but I'm really believing that my calves are going to recover. I, I, I'm icing them. I'm taking ibuprofen, but my calves, it was just the right one. And then even after I stopped taking it, my left one, it's like they feel like they have been shredded. Like I have done the hardest calf exercises for days and my muscles just feel shredded. It is... I don't know how the medicine does this, but I mean, how do you have your calves, your muscles just get shredded like this? I shredded them part of, part of the way because I was rolling out thinking that I was knotted from exercise, which is the worst thing I could have done. But so you guys believe with me for complete and total restoration to my legs and to my entire body that I won't have any more adverse reflections. Uh, effects from this and that the holistic medicine that I'm taking will clear up the UTI and I'm going to start building my pharmacy at home my holistic pharmacy because I don't know what's going to happen in this world so I want to have a backup I don't want to have to I mean you know hey sometimes you have to go get you know sometimes you have to go to the doctor but I'm going to try to avoid it um, especially in regards to this 
Okay, what else, Lord? What I am saying is the enemy is going to come back and attack. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you my dream. The Lord warned me in a dream about this. In the dream, and this is why I know that it has something to do with the sickness that's been going around and been talked about and me me the way that I have led in regards to it and how it, and because of that I've had my Facebook uh, demonetized demon demon right there in the word demonetized I can't even pay to have you guys see my stuff now and they just don't hardly show it to anybody but in the dream I was being injected into my bloodstream with that particular um, V-I-R-U-S. Okay. I'm not, it sounds like I'll be a paranoid, but I don't think I am at this point. And so they were injecting me with this all over my body. And I realized what it was. It was the medicine. It was the medicine that, that, that I had been given was going into my bloodstream and the Lord was trying to show me that it's deadly and it's dangerous. And, um, so I had that dream where God revealed that to me. And so I was able to quit taking it. So God, I believe my calves will be restored. My health will be restored and I will be better for it. So whatever it is you're going through, whether it's an attack on your health, an attack on your finances, my finances have been attacked since this, this coronavirus thing. You know, my finances has been attacked. There's just been so, so many things. But here, here's some things that you can take from this. When you are under attack in some area, let your gratitude to God be raised to a new level. Because you can either think, oh, woe is me. This horrible thing's happening. I'm hurting. My, you know, my legs are hurting. I don't, I'm exhausted. I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm not, you know, all, whatever it is that you think you can focus on the symptoms. You can focus on the attack or you can focus on how good God is to allow these things into our lives to bring us into deeper clarity, discernment, strength, strategy, dependence on him. Like, my husband let me take a nap today on his lunch break because I was like, I can't hold my eyes open. I cannot hold my eyes open. I mean, part of it is I'm not drinking coffee. I'm so used to drinking coffee. But part of it, I think, is just trying to fight this off. And he watched my daughter on his lunch break. And I went and laid down. And I was just, thank you, God, for my husband. Thank you, God, for my husband. Thank you, God, for my house. Thank you, God, to have a bed to sleep in. Thank you, God, that right now I'm not in a city that's burning and, you know, having these anarchist in the street like and then like praying for all the people who don't have what I have and so no matter where we are we can always be thankful and grateful for what is going right in our lives we can let the thing that's going wrong make us into complainers make us feel sorry for ourselves, or can have the complete total opposite effect going at any time at any time in our lives, something can get taken from us. My, I was like, Lord, please, I need my legs. I love to walk. <laughs> Don't let me have anything rupture. Like, you know, and then I'm like, you know what? What if my legs don't come back? Like what? And I, and I was like, you know what? I will crawl up on the stage and I will preach. I will wheel around the world and I will preach. Like, I don't care what the enemy hits me with. I'm not receiving this. I'm not accepting this. I'm going to be healed. But at the same time, I'm going to keep doing what God's called me to do. No matter how he hits me, he wants us to start seeing these things that hit hu it hit us as stepping stones into that next level. I mean, I even dreamt about this last night, going up into that next level. It's like a birthing. It's a birth canal when we go through these things, when we get hit with these things. You know, with my finances getting hit, it's opening me up even more to go, you know what? I need to open a, a resale shop here, a thrift shop here. so that. And it's been my desire to, to more and more to create things, to be able to fund the outreach programs with through the own the things that we're doing in the ministry now you guys pray for me about this too because <laughs> this building that I believe God has shown me is $3,400 a month I'm like $3,400 that's insane <laughs> I don't know but I've, I'm actually meeting with him tomorrow I don't have I don't have any, any money for that right now but I feel like somehow if we could get in there and start doing, um, 
you know, the resale thing, it could end up generating. So I'm just believing the Lord. And I'm just, instead of saying, you know what, God has shut this door. I know the Lord has called me to, 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 to stand up and to speak the truth and to lead people in, in truth and to lead people in his word and lead people by his spirit and teach and train and raise up, you know, uh, people in the earth and to go forth and to feed the hungry and to clothe the naked and to, to build schools and to, to help orphans, like all of these things in my heart. And like this morning I was like, and, and I've had this, you know, let's be honest. I know we have this sometimes when we hit and we're hurting, you know, I'm cramping. I'm having to go to the bathroom every hour this morning. It's gotten so much better just since I started the herbal stuff. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I know that the enemy's just trying to stop us. Just, no, I'm not going to buy a building just yet. <laughs> I don't have credit for the ministry to do that. I feel like God's shown us this place, and that's the place we're supposed to have. He's given confirmation, quite a few confirmations. So uh, we, we claim, we're claiming it. But Lord God, we just... I'm just going to pray over us. No matter what it is that we are getting hit with, Lord, give us courage. Give us strength. Make us loyal to the cause. Loyal to the throne room of heaven. Loyal to the king. We are loyal to the king. We need to be loyal to the king to the end through all these things. No matter what it is that you are being hit with. No matter, no matter what the enemy is doing to counterattack. He is, he is afraid. He is scared. But God is going to show us. He's going to reveal to us. I left that thing in the car and he had me pick it up before it was too late. You know, clearly I'm one of the people who doesn't respond well to that medicine. It could have been my heart, you know, if I had kept it. And still, you know, that, that inserts and stuff says up to a year later people are dying. So I'm, I now know I have been injected through the, through the dream that God gave me into my bloodstream has been injected something that is possible it is capable of killing me so the lord has revealed that to me so i stand against it in the mighty name of jesus in the i'm only doing see uh, I, I understand you're being trying to be helpful katina but we got to do what god's showing us to do and what might seem wise to one person if the lord is calling you to do one thing you do something else like the lord i know what the lord's showing us to do so that's what we move forward and doing and um, we are I, i'm more i feel like i'm called more apostolically so i'm planting this church here but i i am not necessarily put in we're not necessarily we're not buying something right now <laughs> for the ministry we'll have to wait and see what god does with that but lord god whatever the lord is asking you to do the enemy is going to come in and he's going to try to stop you he is going to try to thwart the thwart the plans of god over our lives and we just have to not take the bait and get in fear we have to really fully truly see if this had not happened to me i would not be at a place again where I'm like, I need to build up my holistic cabinet again. I need to build up my cabinet that has remedies in it for me and my family so that they are on hand. I need to, you know, spend a little time um, getting into studying what things we need for this and that that are not going to just automatically go to the pharmacy and a doctor who talks to you two seconds on the phone and prescribes something that could kill you without telling you this could kill you it's killed lots of people black box warning <sighs> i just feel like the lord is saying i am bringing you into deeper discernment than ever before and sometimes that deeper discernment comes from hits from the enemy that open our eyes to something that we didn't have you know, right before us, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just hadn't been thinking about it. I had already, you know, been awakened to a lot of the things that they put in the immunizations. But anyway, I, I had not 100% like filled to overflow, super energy, you know, powerhouse here today, but I did say I was going to get on today. So I wanted to do that. I got to go home. My husband's making some tacos and I am believing that I'm going to be recharged and 
good night, another good night's sleep, and I'm going to be feeling even better tomorrow and even better the next day. So the plan is, and instead of locking in and saying 100%, I'm letting you guys know where I am, what's going on with my health, and I'm nursing myself. But the plan is to be on tomorrow morning to pray and to prophesy and to say whatever it is the Lord is asking me to say. Let me read a scripture in closing. The armor of God. <laughs> Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. We know this one. Ephesians 6, verse 10. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness comes from that comes from the gospel of peace in addition to all of this take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flying flaming arrows of the evil one take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. I'm praying for you guys. I'm reading over your prayer request on the page today. I'm praying for you guys as I was laying there resting. And I thought it was the coolest thing. Because here the enemy has tried to knock me down. And I am saying I will intercede for other people because I know what my position is. And even if my reality makes it look like the enemy knocked me down, the the Lord is using this to bring me up. He's using this to birth, birth me into a place where I'm even more confident in what God has for me and what he's called me to. And, and nothing is going to stop us. <laughs> nothing is going to stop us. We have got to believe 100% that there's nothing that the enemy can do to stop us. You guys follow me on the other pages that I'm created. If you are not, if you haven't liked Kingdom Living... Ecclesia. It's a Facebook page. Um, go and like that page because I'm going to be putting everything on there too. And I don't know if the, they'll ever try to, to cut me completely off of Facebook. So I'm also on Parlor. I'm on Instagram, which Facebook owns. I'm on YouTube and I'm on MeWe. I just opened a MeWe account. So um, you guys find me on there. And also, if you make a donation or you email me, if you make a donation through my website, um, I will then be able to farm your email address. <laughs> you can always take me off the list if you get emails and you don't want one. But either make a donation, that would be great. First option, best option. <laughs> but then the second option, if you if you can't do that right now, you don't feel led to, is email me at info at emilyroselewis.org and then I can get your email address and I'm going to start you know, emailing um, some of the videos and some of the prophetic words and things like that. And then if they ever just strip me of Facebook, you'll still be able to, um, you know, receive from this ministry. So I love you guys, praying for you, and I hope to be on tomorrow morning. Pray for my health. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. I'm praying for complete and total victory. I see 17 everywhere. 17, 17, 17, 17, everywhere I go, all, all day every day. I've never seen this number so, I've never seen one number so often and so much. And God is showing it to me right now because he knows that, the, that he is allowing a series of supposed hits to, to transfer me into this next level that he has for me that it couldn't happen any other way. And so he's just wanted to confirm to me, victory, total victory, total victory, total victory. Do not stress. Do not fear. Do not worry. Do not be anxious about anything. Just understand that total victory is our portion in him. We have to stay seated with Christ in heavenly places. I mean, no matter, even if you're hurting, it can be so easy when you're physically hurting, I know for me, or emotionally hurting, to just get caught in the earthly realms and feel like this is all there is to it. And it really can can um, weather your faith, but I just encourage you to stay seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. 
If you're too sick and too tired to even read your scriptures, put on the uh, Bible app and listen to it. Listen to some good preaching. Listen to some good worship and keep yourself stirred up in the Lord because we do have enemies. And the the more impact in the kingdom that we make, the more... <laughs> <laughs> the more reinforcements the enemy um, sends in, but we are more than capable. We just got to keep on our full armor because God is, um, he says we're well able to take the land. You know, we don't want to seem like grasshoppers in our own sight. And I know you guys probably sometimes, if you've watched me very long, you think, man, you take a while to get over stuff. You know, hey, I bet you do too. <laughs> you know, like, how, weren't you struggling with that like six months ago? Why are you still struggling with that? But I mean, it has been a battle for me being called as a woman leader. I actually bought um, um, what I was in here tonight doing was finishing the Mulan movie because I felt so compelled to watch this movie because I knew it was the, for me prophetically to encourage me about being called as a woman leader because it's something I've struggled with so much. And um, I mean, I bought Disney Plus for the month just to rent that movie. And it was I'm I'm probably going to um air it here at, at not not this Saturday but next Saturday. I'll put it up if y'all are in the area and want to come watch a movie on a bigger TV. It's like, it was a good movie. <laughs> it was a really good movie and it was more encur prophetic encouragement for me. Something I've struggled with, struggled with, struggled with, but the Lord whatever he has called you to, what he's not going to leave you alone about it just cuz it takes you a while to get your confidence <laughs> your confidence up or your insecurities under or what have you and so no matter what it is you're going through just know he's working to get you to that place of just total surrender and total trust and total confidence in what he's called you to what he's shown you to do what he's promised to do in your life and through your life and just through all these things remember we're more than conquerors we're more than conquerors through him who loved us Lord God, I pray that you would bless your people with courage, with strength, with ten uh, tenacious faith, audacious faith, that you would help them pass their junk, that you would help them pass their insecurities, that you would help strengthen them in their weaknesses. Lord God, that you would give deep revelation in the night in our dreams, that you would reveal enemy plans, plots to destroy our finances, to destroy our health, to destroy our relationships, that you would reveal ahead of time before they could ever take root and bring any real destruction on us. Lord God, I pray that you would be merciful to us and give us great discernment in this hour about enemy plots and enemy plans, not just in our personal life, but for other people and for world events. I might actually release some of the prophetic things that God's been speaking to me over this house. Um, not over this house, while in this house, this ecclesia here. Oh, Jesus. God's God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Your mercy endures forever. We just break any curse that has been spoken or cast towards us that would try to hinder us or cause any kind of permanent damage to our body to our relationship to our finances to our jobs to our ministries to our families Lord God we just call null and void every enemy plot and every enemy plan Lord we ask that you would hide us that your name would be a a fire around us that you would just build a fire wall around us and that we would just be safe in you that we would be comforted in you that we'd be strengthened in you that we would hide ourselves in you lord and that the enemy would not get one over on us that the enemy would that we wouldn't give up any ground that we would take new ground that we would take new territory lord god i pray for impossible things i pray for miracle healings i pray for miracles in our finances i pray that we would begin to walk forward like when i say i don't have money for that place like i don't have money for that place not even a little bit and so i'm going forward i'm like meeting with that guy about that place and i'm actually going to to ask if we can get it for free for a while and we'll see what happens with that 
Um, and then I have some other strategies that I'm considering, things that I can sell, but we'll see how that goes. But whatever it is, if God's called us to it, we just walk forward, believe, and I don't know how this is going to happen, but don't, when God shows you impossible things, impossible healings, impossible things, don't just write it off because it's impossible. If you're hearing it from the Lord, believe, activate your faith, and then just do whatever you can to move forward that he's asking you to do, not in your own strength. And, and just pray into that. And Lord God, I pray for impossible things. Impossible things. Some of the wicked things that are going on right now, the destruction that's happening so quickly, it's just astounding to me what can happen so quickly. So if the enemy can move so quickly to bring destruction, how much more can God move so quickly where there is unity in the body and in the church to bring about his good plans and purposes in the earth? So we just pray unity among the believers, unity in your body, God, that there is strength in numbers. We need to stick together. We need to be praying for each other just because you're hurting, just because you're going through stuff. Don't take down praying for your leaders. Don't stop praying for your family and friends. Pray, pray, pray pray without ceasing and we'll cover each other and um total victory y'all i'll see ya bye